Hello everyone. Today it's another day. <laughs> Today flavor we have a Pegasus 320 converted to CDI ignition. So here is the setup that I've done for this engine. So the magnet ring, the pickup sensor. Right now it's running with a 1810 Zinger prop that customer sent to me and it has a Kaleo exhaust really nice and here the top side this trumpet the customer made it which I can say did a really nice job and it looks really good um, this is a first four independent fire unit is the prototype so we have four cylinders Currently, I have it on 20 to 1 gasoline and use the original carburetor and exactly the glow setup with the pressure from the exhaust going to the tank. So, the system is not powered on. Let me power the system on. It works on uh, two cells LiPo. Okay, so let's see. I know that it's not going to start that easy right now. But let's give it a try and I don't like to do this. Okay. Okay, I went to low and I don't like, I need a third hand, which I don't have right now. Okay, let's give it another start. I will also make another video with the regular glow, 15%. Start it again. It doesn't start bad. It idles around 1400. Now I don't have the third hand to see the tachometer, unfortunately in this test unit I haven't made the tachometer built in so we will work with any of the RCXL, maybe the next version will have it, but it works pretty good, let's give it another start and let's see how it goes, it goes pretty good. <laughs> I 
I was a little bit too drastic with it. But anyway, this is the idea. So, as you can see, this is the Pegasus. Uh, OS Pegasus 320. Also, the kit will work for uh, the smaller version. I believe it's a 240. It's the same setup. So, once again, the prop hub mag magnet ring with the sensor and it has a dual output sensor so you will see and fire independently good that I seen this mm -hmm. it didn't burn it through yet but that's good enough so here we have an opposite alternated twin it's a really beautiful engine actually I bought one of those just for the for this purpose so I have one to play with it this one I will send it to the customer also I'm, I'm thinking but I don't know if it's really feasible to do it to make another new manifold and to put a regular Zama or a Walboro carburetor but I don't know probably the cost is gonna be too high and I see that it's running fine with the stock carburetor on gas 20 to 1 percent synthetic oil I see no reason for increasing the cost cost uh, the cost of it so this is it guys it is available and will be available it's another CH system done another conversion and uh, like I said look it I'll come back with the glow probably in another several minutes until I need to change the fuel out so we'll see how it's gonna run on glow also thank you for watching